Morning guys, what's going on? Um, it's Monday, we're doing the intro for Saturday. Um, so Saturday morning we did the repair on the TRX 200. And by the time I got it done, um, Leroy popped in and I forgot to record. So um, there wasn't really an ending for the video, but I did get the brakes in. They fit really tight in the drum. So I ended up, the bottom side is, the bottom side sits on a pin, so it's, each brake shoe's got a half circle cut out. So what I did is I put both shoes in the vise and drilled out the hole some, and then ground down the edges so that the bottom of the brake shoes sit closer together. So we went on and off with a drama time or two. Sometimes the brake pads wanted to kink, they wanted to tilt over and lock, lock up the drum. So... One way to combat that is to raise up the rear end and then turn the tires as you tighten up the brake. So what you can do is you can take your wrench, push the brake drum, get the brake drum started, get the nut started, and then just turn the tire and hold the nut with the wrench. That way the brake drum walks its way over to end its where it's supposed to go, and that way the brake pads don't tilt as hard. So right now the pads... Uh, once we got the pads in, they were dragging a little bit, not too bad. So I went out for a ride up the road, dragged the tires a couple times. And then, as you know, the seal, the dust cover is the wrong cover. It's a little smaller, and the seal is a little bit uh, tighter as well. And uh, I burned the rubber off the seal to make it so it would slide on. So obviously since there's no rubber seal there it won't quite seal so there's probably a bunch of water in it i didn't drain it and i silicone the cover on because the cover's too small so silicone is the only way to seal it <laughs> so i cut the silicone took the cover off i haven't re it. so i was hoping some of the water would drain back out because i know there's going to get water in it because it's not sealed so we're going to check ebay every now and then and see if we can find a used cover somewhere along the way and then everything should be fine but I had to tighten up the brakes throughout the day, and where it sits now, it seems like they're all right. So I have a stack of washers and stuff, and uh, I think, yeah, there's a little bit of slack in it with the last couple of hours of riding. Like I said, I think it's full of mud and water. We went through a couple of ponds and mud pits and stuff, so... There's a good chance it's full of greasy clay because I don't think I can drag the tires anymore. But it's just enough to be safe, pretty safe. Excuse me. Ah, oh, the sunlight's wonderful. <clears throat> so that worked, and the front brakes are all over on the other side. But we did get these kind of work. So we might have to move the rear brake arm back a couple notches. So I might have got it in the wrong slot. I'm not sure if I can do that or not. I think I can. I'll just have to probably take the brake drum off again. It'll be a pain. Maybe we'll just stack spacers and stuff in there to make it work for now. Until maybe another time when we get a reason to take the take it off. Other than that, the front brakes did okay. I got a new adjuster coming for the right side because the right side one is seized. And it's really important that the, you, if you want these brakes to work right, you got to take the plug out and turn it to the bottom. And if you move it a little left and a little right, you can see the little star wheels. And then you take a screwdriver and turn the star wheels and it pushes the adjusters apart. So it's very important that you, what you can do is you can go tight until... So the wheel lock starts seizing up and then back it off a couple clicks and then move to the other side and do the same again. And then the right side and the left side. And once you've done that, once they're actually very tight to the point they're almost dragging, you'll get very good brakes out of these. So that's very important that they're adjusted all the way tight. If you take the wheel off, you're gonna have trouble sliding the drum on and you'll think that it's tight, but it's not actually tight. You have some brakes, but not a lot of brakes if you do it that way. So the 200 did great. It's actually, I mean, the suspension bottoms out pretty hard, and I body slammed the handlebars a time or two to where it was just too much. 
I didn't lose anything out of the trunk. Toward the end, I put a strap across it just to keep it so it wouldn't so it wouldn't fly open all the time. Um, but it did perfectly. No flat tires. I hit the front end pretty hard once. I thought I debeated the tire or blew the tire up or bent the rim. Nope. She's fine. The 425 is fine. No issues at all with that. So sometime later, I have to wash these off. And that, my friends, is the intro to the video. And at the end of the video, there will be a couple um, uh, couple clips of stock car racing. Or uh, uh, dirt track car racing, sorry. So we went, we went, we rode for a while. I wasn't really going to video anything. But then in the end, I ended up videoing. The 425 ran beautifully. There's a water hole clip there where the tone of the exhaust changes just because it was absolutely getting drowned out back here there was water in the exhaust and everywhere so it pulled an absolute beast through the bog holes this four-wheeler with the design of the four-wheel drive it's got is absolutely phenomenal this four-wheeler has never lost a chain except the time when it ripped it in two the front chains are semi-tight the rear chain is loosened up a little bit but other than maintaining the chains it actually does incredibly well and the lower slider there the lower chain guide there keeps the stones from getting into the sprocket I had a couple stones get into that because I had it in bog holes where it's absolutely bottomed out and I was having to put weight on the back corner and rear the whole four-wheeler up so that this tire was in the bottom of the ditch and then it would buck forward rear it up it would jump ahead jump ahead I was panning like a horse and the clip that Leroy was working really hard in he was he was having a yeah skip the gym because you're working out doing ATV stuff anyway guys that's gonna be it thanks for watching go ahead and watch the clips coming up and enjoy the circle track cars we're very much uh, enjoying the circle track racing stuff these days too so <clears throat> on the mower here I mowed everything here I lost that guide wheel on this side and it, the tire made a hole in the gas tank so i have to address that pretty soon too otherwise it did well it used the same amount of gas even with the leak and it got everything mowed all right guys enjoy the clips This time in two wheel high or four or low two, I don't I'm not sure. Like nothing. <laughs> Should I take it through? Huh? Should I take it through? I got boots. <laughs>
There you go. Tuck it in.